All right, guys. Hey, uh, super excited to be here today. Super excited to go over uh, two different things. One, the Pace Setter program, which is absolutely just uh, one of the greatest things I've seen in a long time. Um, and along with who wants to go to Mexico, the Puerto Vallarta trip. Uh, super excited to uh, get as many of our teams qualified, as many as uh, members of Life Vantage qualified for this uh, incentive trip coming up and get as many pace setters and pace setter pros as possible. So if you're jumping on, let's go ahead and just mute all. Uh, um, we're going to go ahead and mute everybody. So All right, so here we go. We're, uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So you guys, here we go. We're going to go over the pace setter first, and then we're going to go over the, uh, the, um, the Puerto Vallarta trip. Okay, so this is the pace setter program by Life Vantage. You guys, uh, super, super awesome. A incredible way for the brand new person to get started and to earn uh, anywhere from 100 to 700 extra dollars in their first 90 days. To me, it was something that I loved. It's something that I, I, I we, have, we have such an amazing compensation plan, but this is the one thing that I, that I thought and, and the FAB and, and the entire uh, team had thought that would be a great way to give you an incentive to get out of the gate faster, which is to give you, uh, is to become a pace setter. So let's walk through this. How does the pace setter work and what is the point of pace setter? And then when we get done with this, we'll walk through and, and we'll talk about uh, the, the Mexico Puerto Vallarta incentive trip, which I can, I can just imagine um, hundreds, if not uh, literally thousands of people qualifying for this, you guys, by just doing the, basically focusing on becoming a pace setter and a pace setter pro. So we'll walk through each one of those things. So pace setter, we talk about at the very beginning, let's go ahead, let's outpace yourself. Whatever your goal was, let's do it better. Let's, let's put, a, put ourselves out there to work a little bit harder with the Pace Setter program, um, you're gonna get rewarded for staying ahead, by just staying ahead. Um, so what is the Life Vantage Pace Setter program? The Pace Setter program is designed to help you get off to a fast start and uh, start ahead for the long run. Beginning February, 2018, we are rewarding distributors for basically doing this, guys. So uh, super, super excited and by basically becoming a Pace Setter, let me, uh, sorry, clicked on the wrong screen here. All right, so if you are a distributor or a brand new pro, uh, let's say a distributor or a pro one, okay, if you are an existing distributor, it's your rank, you're paid as rank for January 2018. That is your rank for the pace setter program. So here we go. To earn, a, to basically become a pace setter pro two, what you need to do is you need, you, you'll earn $100 plus a raffle ticket when you reach pro two in your first 30 days, okay? So existing distributors and pro ones, um, and it will say new distributors and pro ones, existing distributors, whatever your rank was January, 2018, this is how you earn your first, you can earn an extra hundred dollars by coming pro two in your first 30 days. You're also gonna get a raffle ticket and I'll show you at the end of this slide what that raffle ticket is for. If you maintain Pro 2 the following month, uh, you're gonna earn another $100, a raffle ticket, plus 100 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. You must maintain the second month in order to or earn the 100 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. Step three, you become a, uh, for this, for, so this again is for distributors, Pro 1s, um, paid as. Uh, so if you're, the way you earn an extra $250 is you become a pro three in your first 90 days. So step three is going to be earn $250 and another raffle ticket when you reach pro three in 90 days. Step four, maintain pro three for the next month and you're going to earn another $250 plus one raffle ticket plus an additional 150 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. Again, this also, you must maintain the following month in the Puerto Vallarta to get the uh, 150 points. So let's talk about an example here. Bob, Bob enrolls February 10th and he hits uh, Pro 2 in, on February 28th. He's gonna get paid $100. In March, Bob maintains paid as Pro 2 and he's gonna get another $100 from the company. Then in April, let's just say Bob hits Pro 3. 
and then he's going to earn $250. And in May, Bob maintains Paid Ask Pro 3. He's going to get an additional $250. So if Bob does all of this, he's also going to get four raffle tickets for what we'll show here in a minute, plus 250 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip, you guys. It's going to be awesome. So this is what happens. That's $100 plus 100 plus 250 plus 250. That's 700 extra dollars for raffle tickets and 250 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. Again, this is for distributors and pro ones. So brand new people, uh, distributors and pro ones, or if you're an existing distributor, this is your paid rank as of January, 2018. Okay, so if you're a paid ass pro two, um, so you, let's say whatever ex example I could give, let's say you were an existing distributor, let's say you were paid as pro two in January. Let's give the example that you were a paid as, let's say in the past you hit the rank of pro three, um, in our company, but in January, you suffered a little bit. And in January, January, you were a paid as pro two. This is exactly for you. Okay. It's whatever your paid as rank in January was. So if you're a paid as pro two, here's what you can do. You can do step one, which will be earned $250 plus a raffle ticket. When you reach pro three in the next 90 days. Okay. Step two, you can maintain, maintain Pro 3 the following month. You'll get another $250, a raffle ticket, and 150 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. So example, Michelle is a paid Pro 2 as of January 31st. In April, Michelle hits Pro 3, and she's going to earn $250. In May, Michelle maintains as a Pro 3. She'll earn another $250, a total of two raffle tickets, and 150 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. So here you go, that's an extra $500, two uh, raffle tickets, and 150 points towards the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. So hopefully that's great, you guys. Again, it doesn't matter if you, if you went up in rank, um, and you, whatever your paid rank was in, in January, or if you're a brand new person, um, if you, once you hit the rank of Pro 2, you can get there too. So what is the, for the pro threes and above, what can I become? So what your goal is going to be, so this is anybody from pay three in January of 2018 and above, you can become a pace setter pro. And what are the benefits of becoming a pace setter pro? So here you go. You help three of your personally sponsored people achieve the pro two pace setter and or the pro three pace setter, and you'll receive the title of a pace setter pro and receive three raffle tickets for each set of three pace setters you help create. You guys heard that right. You get uh, three raffle tickets for each set of three pace setters that you help create. So every time you help your three um, become a pace setter pro, you're also gonna get 200 points for the Mexico incentive trip. You're gonna see the three, 200, the six, 400, the nine, 600, the 12, 800. So basically for every three people, for every, three people you help become pace setter, you are gonna become a pace setter pro and you'll get 200 points for each one of those. So pretty exciting, pretty awesome. Um, I mean, just really kind of an exciting thing that's going on here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna unmute you guys and then I'm gonna mute all, allow you guys to unmute yourself with any questions you guys have. You're, you can unmute yourselves now, but any questions you guys have, do you have any questions up to this point? All right, so it looks like we don't have any questions. That's okay. Um, if you guys write down any questions you have, um, you, are, you are unable to unmute yourself now, and you can ask any questions as we go through this. Also on here, we have the, um, we have the, uh, the FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions, and we also have the terms and conditions on, this, on these slides for you guys. Super exciting. Um, I think the goal of this program, you guys, is, is going to be good between now and the end of June. Um, if we utilize this program, corporate has agreed that they will make this program a permanent part of our compensation plan, which I love because it helps a new person just get out of the gate fast and really get going. So let's talk about the Puerto Vallarta incentive trip. Um, super, super excited about this. So you guys, uh, Puerto Vallarta, uh, if you guys, I love Mexico. A lot of you guys know that I love Mexico. It's a beautiful place. So the qualification periods for this is from February 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2018. 
The trip will take place September 19th through the 23rd. You guys, super, super excited. So for behaviors, for each behavior accomplished, leaders are going to earn points um, to earn a tier level within the promotion. The tiers associated with point requirements are the following, okay? Here's one thing. If you enrolled on a platinum pack, you're going to get a basically a 50-point head start. Um, or you need to earn 50 less points. So let's say tier one, um, you technically only need to earn 950 points, or you can just say, I'm gonna get to 1,000 points and I already have 50 points. So either way you wanna think of that, either, no problem. There's tier one through seven, you guys, everything from a, a trip for two without airfare, all the way to tier seven, which is a trip for two, two airline tickets, uh, spa treatment, first class seats, and $2,000 in spending money. Uh, that's going to be awesome. You know what? For down there. So let's talk about this. Uh, the behaviors are tied to a point system. And basically, this is how you achieve points. So we're going to go through each one of these. And you guys, I'm going to give you an example for each rank that you could achieve this, uh, achieve this trip. So basically, if you become a pace setter pro two, which means you achieve the rank of pro two within your first 30 days, uh, they're going, you're going to get a hundred points. Okay. If you, if you achieve the rank of pace setter pro three, which is achieving the rank of pro three in your first full 90 days, then you're going to get an additional 150 points. And now remember this, you become a pace setter pro by helping the people you enroll, your personally sponsored people achieve the rank of pace setter pro two or the pay, rank of pace setter pro three. So for every three people, so the way you became a pay, the way you become a pace setter pro is you basically help again three people become pace setter pro two or pace setter pro three. The company will reward re, will reward you two hundred points for this. Now remember that example, you guys, two hundred points for every three. So if you do six, you get four hundred points. So so forth and so on. There is no cap on this, from my understanding at all. Okay, subscription orders. We're gonna walk through that on the examples. New preferred customers, every single preferred customer, you're gonna get five points, personally sponsored preferred customers. Okay, anybody that you upgrade to a Vitality Stack, you're gonna get three points each month that they're on that and get five points for the, uh, for the new preferred customer enrollments. Uh, also, okay, now remember, you can earn up to 300 points what we call enrollment points for tiers one through three. So on the previous page, you guys, let's see if we can go back real quick. Tiers one through three, you can earn up to 300 points can come from your enrollments. Tiers four through seven, you can earn up to 600 points from enrollments. So how do we get the points for enrollments? For every platinum pack, the company's gonna give you 60 points. For every gold pack, the company's gonna give you 30 points. For every silver pack, the company is going to give you 15 points. The uh, subscription orders that upgrade to Vitality Stack, the three points that we talked about uh, on here, and then also the new preferred customers um, each month, those go are part of your enrollment points. Well, what happens when somebody upgrades from gold to platinum? You guys, you're going to get the 30 points when they enrolled on gold. When they upgrade to platinum, if they were to upgrade, and when they upgrade, they'll get the additional 30 points. Um, they come in on silver and upgrade to platinum. They're going to get 15 when they enroll on silver. They're going to get an additional 45 points uh, if they upgrade to platinum. So a couple examples for you guys. Rank advancement and sponsorship. You guys, every time you personally rank advance, um, you're going to get these points. You hit the rank of Pro 2, you get 20 points. Pro 3, 40. Pro 4, 80. So forth and so on. Now, each one of your personal enrollments, as you help them rank advance, you're going to get, when they hit the rank of Pro 2, you're going to also get an additional 20, okay? If you help your personal enrollments hit the rank of Pro 3, you'll get an additional 40. This is a one-time thing, you guys. When you help them hit Pro 2, you get 20 points. It's not something that you get 20 points every single month they maintain it. It's just, it's a hit it and get it. So when they hit Pro 2, uh, you're going to get 20 points for helping them get there for being their personally sponsored um, enroller. So hopefully that makes sense for each one of you guys. And you guys, again, unmute yourselves at any point at this point if you have any questions. We're going to walk through some examples for each one of you guys on how to achieve these ranks. 
or how to achieve this incentive trip. Really, it's focusing on the pay setter program. Okay, we got somebody unmuted. What do we got here? Question? Yeah, real quick. Um, so, uh, sponsor reward for rank advancement. So, if we um, have a pro five or get I'm sorry, if we get somebody to Pro 5, I get the 160, 160. What if they're Pro 5 currently, but paid as a Pro 4, and we bring them back to a Pro 5? Does that count for the 160 or? Perfect. So here's a great question, paid as. So the way the company decided this and the way it all got put together was their rank, their baseline rank will be the highest achieved rank from August 2017 to January 2018. So if they have been at paid as, Pro five, they need to get to pro six. But if they were a paid as pro four in that entire period, they get the points when they go to pro five, the paid as. Does that help out? Chris, um, can you hear me? Yep, I can. Okay, I don't know what my camera is doing because it's weird. But okay, so if um, so, if we enroll them, and then they are a paid as pro four, but used to be a pro five, we get those points helping them too as yep, the have, enroller? Yep, as the enroller, per, as, you're, as you being the enroller, as long as they are a paid as the highest rank they achieve between August 2017 to January 2018, um, as long as their highest achieved rank during that period was a paid as pro four, then yeah, when they go to pro, a paid as pro five again, you get the 160 points and they also will get the 160 points. Awesome. All right, any other questions? You guys want me to walk through the examples? All right, looks like we don't have any questions. Again, feel free to unmute yourself at any point, guys. I'm here for us as a company, as a team. I'm representing the independent distributors. Um, and remember that, you guys. So these are th slides that I put together myself for our team. We got one team here, Team Life Vantage. Um, together, we're going to rise this boat all the way to the top, and I'm super excited with everything that's going on. So let's go through some examples, you guys, because you know what? Sometimes it gets confusing. You know, you get started, and you're like, how am I going to get there, right? So let's give some examples from everything from the brand new distributor to a Pro 7 or Pro 8. How are you going to get there, you guys? So here's a couple examples right off the bat. So if you are a paid as distributor, um, or a pro one, this is how you're gonna get there, okay? Again, look at the fine blueprint that it says highest paid rank from August 2017 to January 2018 is gonna be used as the paid rank. Okay, so you enroll as a platinum pack, you automatically either get 50 less points required, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give all these examples that you're just starting with 50 points because that's really what it is, um, or it's 50 less points, either way, but I'm gonna give the example that platinum pack, you get 50 points automatically towards this incentive trip okay so then you're going to max out the enrollments obviously we're all of these examples are going to be max maxing out the enrollments of 300 points and that is basically platinum packs get 60 golds get 30 silvers get 15. look at the very bottom guys where it says it gives you the example where you can get the three points and the five points that all is part of the 300 points right there so you can't get any more than 300 points on the enrollments and that does include enrolling uh, personally enrolled pcs or distributors um, that upgrade to vitality stack or new uh, preferred customers that you enroll um, so the paid as distributor or the pro one you're gonna we're gonna help you your sponsor is gonna help you achieve the rank of pace setter pro two okay so by doing that you're gonna get a hundred points be because you became a pace setter pro two you're also going to get 20 points because you hit the rank of Pro 2 for a total of 120 points. Then we're going to help you achieve. You guys, you have between now and the end of June to do this. You're going to achieve the Pace Setter Pro 3, which is 90 days, okay? 150 points. Let's say you're watching this slide and you only have 60 days left. It doesn't matter. You guys can get to Pace Setter Pro 3 in 60 days and you still get it, okay? So you, you achieve the rank of pay, you, sorry, you achieve and you become a pace setter pro three, the company gives you 150 points. Plus, you're also going to get 40 points for what it says pro two rank, it's going to be changed to pro three rank. That's a typo right there, guys. So it's 40 points for the pro three rank, which is 190 points. Um, then what are you going to do? You're going to help three people become a pay, you're going to become a pace setter pro. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to help those three people be, by becoming a pace setter pro you're going to help three people achieve the rank uh, or achieve pace setter pro two and by doing that you're going to get 200 points by helping three people become a pace setter pro two well you help three people become a pace setter pro two you're getting okay these are all your personally enrolled you're going to get 20 points because they're being a paid rank of pro two for each one of those three which is 260 points you're going to get for become each time you are a pace setter pro so i'm going to say oh between now and the end of june you guys we can help we can literally help six people achieve the rank of pro two by doing so you get 1180 points when you add that all up let's say you don't okay let's say you know what you got off a little slow you don't achieve the pace setter pro two where it gave you the extra 120 points in blue that's okay you guys you're still there you're still over the thousand points for the tier one to qualify so this is a, an example I'm giving is the points are going to be a little bit over what you need to achieve um, because you know what not everything's perfect and I'm not going to make it a perfect world so paid as pro ones and paid as distributors you guys can achieve this by just doing the proper proper behaviors of being a, a pace setter and becoming a pace setter pro if you are a paid as pro two, the highest uh, highest rank between the rank uh, between August 2017 and January 2018. Okay, right here, you guys, enroll in Platinum Pack, 50 points. Um, again, 300 points that you're gonna max out from enrollments. Again, the Platinum, Gold, and Silver are shown in 60, 30, or 15 points. And you can also three see how many points you can max out for each tier level. Okay, so we're all gonna max out. So you go, let, you guys, let's be honest, go get five Platinum Packs between now and the end of June that's 300 points, you've maxed it out. Each one of us can do that, okay? Then as a paid as pro two, you're gonna rank advance from, from three to four to five to paid pro five. Woo, that seems tough, you guys. It's 40 points for pro three, 80 points for, for, for uh, pro four, and uh, 160 points for pro five for a total of 280 points. Seems tough, you know what, but it's okay, you guys. You can do it, and I'll give you some reasons why. You're also going to become a pace setter pro three, which is achieving the rank, the, the rank of pro three in your first full 90 days. The company's going to give you an additional 150 points. Then you're going to, once again, you're going to help, you're going to become a pace setter pro two twice. The, okay. So each time you help three people again, achieve the, the, uh, the pace setter pro two or pace setter pro three, you're going to become a pace setter pro. So you're going to do that twice by doing that twice you're gonna get 260 points for each time. Let's say you only do that once, you're still over the 1,000 points for tier one. Let's say you don't rank advance to pro five and you miss it. That's a, only 160 points taken off that 1,300 total. You still achieve it. You guys, there's multiple ways to do this, um, and this is for the paid as pro twos. Let's go to paid as pro three, right? So as a paid as pro three, you are not gonna be qualified to get the pace setter points of, of achieving pace setter pro two or the pace setter pro three. So how are we gonna do this? Obviously you enroll on a platinum pack that starts you with 50 points. You're gonna max out the enrollment points of 300. You're gonna go for the ranks. You guys, this is gonna be tough, right? You're gonna go for the ranks of four, five and six over the next five months. Gonna be tough you guys, but you know what? These incentive trips are made for people that are getting out there and going after it. Okay, so a go after that, pay pro four, pay pro five, pay pro six, it would give you a total of 560 points by doing that, you guys. And then once again, I will have this on each slide, is you're gonna help at least three people become a pace setter pro two or a pace setter pro three, and you're gonna do that twice, twice, achieving the rank, uh, achieving the points of 260 for each time you could create a pace setter pro, or you become a pace setter pro. Okay, super excited, but you know what? You're probably looking at this going, come on, Chris, from paid pro three to paid pro six, it's okay, you guys, I set some buffers in there. That's 1,430 points. That's all right, you guys. Let's say you don't get to the rank of paid pro six and you lose those 320 points. That's okay, you're still over the 1,000 point tier to get there, okay? Well, how do you get to the 1,600 points? You guys, go help three more people and become another pace setter pro and you get tier two real easy. So somebody just unmuted, what question do you have? 
Um, on the platinum packs, you enrolled in a platinum pack. So I heard them mention on stage um, that they are going to give everybody an opportunity to upgrade. Um, yep. So I, I always heard that, you know, it was grandfathered back. I'm not sure how far, how far back. But um, if we look at people that enrolled on the silver pack, for example, and kind of, or the gold pack, um, and give them the opportunity to um, upgrade, would that also give them the 50 points? So my, my understanding would be this, and I've, and I've read and crunched these numbers hard. I would think if, if you previously came in on a silver pack, let's say uh, five months ago, whenever it was, um, you then upgrade them to a platinum pack. My understanding is the company would then get, award you the 45 points, the difference. Even though you're not achieving the 60 points, okay. I would think it would just yeah. give you that difference. So okay. if they give you 60, great, but let's just go off 45 for now. Okay, but it's still an incentive. Absolutely, you guys upgrading people. One gives so one it gives them fifty points right to the start, and then you and then also you know you get the uh, advancement points also. All right, we good. Any other questions? If you guys have questions, feel free to unmute yourself right now. I'm gonna go through a couple more examples. Hey, Kathleen. Go ahead. Hey, it's Kathleen. Um, where, I'm sorry, where did you get that 45 points from? What's that five point differential between the silver pack and the platinum upgrade? Well, the difference in you guys, anytime somebody upgrades, it's going to be the difference of the points. So let's say they originally came in on a silver, they upgrade to platinum. The difference between 60 and, and, and the 15 for silver is 45 points. Okay, got it. Thank you. Perfect. Great question. All right, guys, any questions you have, feel free. You may not, you may think, you know, I may have a question. Go ahead and ask it because we want people to be able to watch this and we can duplicate right from this where everybody can understand this program. One, how to go pace setter and two, how to go to Mexico for a red carpet treatment that we all know this company does an amazing job. All right, so if there's no questions, let's go on to the next, uh, the next slide. If you are a paid ass pro for you guys, I spent some time doing this because I really wanted each rank to understand that you can get there all the way from the beginning, all the way up to the elite ranks. Exciting news, you guys. Every single person has to qualify for this trip. Did you know that? Every single person, pro eights, pro nines, pro tens, they all have to qualify to go to Puerto Vallarta because this is not the global incentive trip. This is just a, uh, a fill-in trip that we threw together that uh, I think is, <laughs> I love these trips when they just throw them together. So when you're a paid ass pro four, how are you going to get there? How are you going to Puerto Vallarta with us? Okay, again, platinum pack, you enrolled 50 points. Max out the enrollments, 300 points. You're going to go from the paid rank of paid pro four, okay, to five and to six. Big jump, you guys. That's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Do you believe in you, okay? You're also, again, once again, you're going to help three people become a Paysetter Pro 2 or a Paysetter Pro 3. By doing so, the company's going to re reward you with a 200 plus. They're your personally uh, sponsored people, so it's 20, 20, 20 because that's for the paid Pro 2, so another 260 points. So over the next five months, or if you're just getting involved with this company, over the next month or two months, whatever time left you have, anything is possible. We've seen it happen, you guys. So you're going to do that twice. You're going to become a Paysetter Pro twice and you're gonna get 260 points for each one of those. That's 1,350 points. Reality check. Dang it, you just missed Pro 6. You didn't get there, you guys. Paid Pro 6 is 320 points. You still qualified for Tier 1, and you're going to Mexico with us, okay? So you guys, it's super exciting, but I want you guys to go after this, this way and more. The one way I found out to max out and go after Tiers three, four, five, six, and seven of this promotion is to continually create the pace setter pros. Become a pace setter pro as many times as possible. And that's really where you're going to get the additional points in a big way. Paid ass pro fives. How are you going to achieve this? Okay. Paid ass pro fives. This is just examples. You guys, there's other combinations. These are just examples I put together. You're going to get 50 points because you, because you came in on a platinum pack. You're going to max out the enrollments of 300 points. You're going to rank advance to the to pro six guys got to do it on this example. You got to rank advance to pro six. And again, you're going to help become a pace setter pro twice and get 260 points for each time you do that. Okay. So paid as pro fives paid as pro sixes. Here we go. You guys again, platinum pack enrollment, 
max out the enrollment points. Rank advance to Pro 7. Big deal, you guys. Guess what? I know you can do it. There's other combinations again, but rank advanced to Pro 7 is going to be one way you're going to want to do this program. Again, become a Pace Setter Pro 2. Uh, become a Pace Setter Pro twice, and you're going to get 260 points for each time you become a Pace Setter Pro for a total of 1,370. Let's say you guys, you know what, you're working with your teams. Only three of your personals got there. You became a Pace Setter Pro once. Minus 260 points on that second one, you still qualify for Tier 1. Okay, so you guys, super, super exciting. Um, let's say you don't hit the rank, you don't hit Pro 7 for some reason. You know what? You're going you're gonna to fall below the, the threshold. You're going to go down to 870 points if you don't rank advanced to Pro 7. That's okay, you guys. Go out and become a pace setter pro one more time and see what happens. Okay, super exciting, super, super exciting with what's going on. Sorry, I'm trying to mute my phone real quick here. Um, Okay, pace, or paid as pro seven. Let's do this real quick, you guys. Uh, you're going to base again, 50 points for platinum pack. You're going to max out the enrollment points of 300. Again, 300 for tiers one through three. You can go up to enrollment points, you guys, 600 points for four through seven. So if you're going after the tiers four through seven, which I challenge everybody to do, you get a total, you get, you get to move those enrollment points to 600 points. Um, paid as Pro 7, you're going to have to rank advance to the paid rank of Pro 8. Ooh, tough. You can do it. Okay. You're also the same thing. The whole point of this is to, be, is to become a pay setter pro. Uh, you do that twice, 260 points for each time. Let's say you don't rank advance to paid Pro 8. You lose the 750 points. How do you make it up? You're going to see it con consistently. Go help three more people achieve the rank of uh, achieve pace setter pro two or pace setter pro three and you get another 260 points that'll put you over the threshold okay so super super awesome super exciting paid as pro weight how are you getting there 50 points for platinum pack again maxing out the 300 points um rank advanced to pro nine really you guys you can do it rank advanced to to paid as pro nine you get a thousand points um, become a pace setter pro twice, get 260 points for each one. That's 1,870 points. You're into tier two, really easy, and you're getting some extra things, okay? Um, let's say you don't hit paid as, or you don't rank advanced to paid as pro nine. You lose 1,000 points. You're down to 870. So what do we do? We go help three more personally sponsored people achieve pace setter pro two or pace setter pro three, get the additional 260 points, Bam, you're on the trip with us. Super exciting. Uh, I know I keep saying super exciting, but you go what? I'm super excited. Um, if you're a Pro 9 or Pro 10, guess what? Go figure it out. Go help people achieve all these ranks. Um, it's all good from there, you guys. So here's a, uh, all the terms and conditions um, that are on these slides also. Each and every one of you, if you're watching this video, talk to your elite distributor Okay, in your upline, every single one of them will have a Dropbox with these slides on PowerPoint. We'll have this video that you can utilize for each one of your team members to help you grow your business. And we'll have all the slides, pictures, everything you need um, that I've shown you today. I'll fix the one little error there that I saw at the very beginning. Um, but that's all right. We'll fix that, you guys. But any questions, you guys, I'd love to hear any questions you guys may have. Did I do that good of a job explaining it? Maybe. You know what I missed is, I, I think, I don't know if I showed this. Let's show this. I, I don't, I guess, I think I skipped over this, but you guys, the raffle tickets, as you would get the raffle tickets in Anaheim, I'll tell you what, this is what the raffle tickets are for. A brand new pace car Camaro. Life Vantage style, super, super exciting. All right, what do we got for questions? I hear somebody unmuted. No, that was me. I unmuted just to say I didn't have any questions. The slides were awesome. They were great examples. Okay, hopefully that helps each and every one of you guys. I'm going to jump off the, uh, the, the stop share page here. Um, any questions you guys may have, I can share the screen again. I just want everybody to be able to utilize this, grow your business. And I think it's just, as we do this together as one big team, Team Life Vantage, we're going to take this company literally to 300, 400, 500 
million dollars to a billion dollars, but we got to walk through the steps, right, as we get there. So any questions you guys may have at all? Anyone, anyone, awesome. Okay, just getting an awesome quote. You guys, this is not about me. This is for Life Advantage. This is for you. This is for your business. This will be recorded. This will be for each and every one of your teams. So uh, appreciate every single one of you guys uh, and have a fantastic day. Become a pace setter. Uh, become a pace setter pro and let's all go to Mexico together you guys. Thanks you guys and have a fabulous day.